Bonjour. Bonjour. We made it to Paris and look where we are. We are so excited for this. We are and there's no better feeling than seeing the Eiffel Tower for the very first time. So we're just kind of in awe right now, but yeah, we actually have tickets to go up into the Eiffel Tower up to the very top. As you can see, that's a pretty far way up. So we're just waiting for that. And yeah, we're gonna take you around there. We might do some walking around, see what else we can find. But yes, today is just an explore all over Paris day. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. We're currently underneath the Eiffel Tower. Look how crazy that is. Oh my gosh, you don't realize how big it is until you're actually up next to it. It's really big. Can't believe we've made it to the top. It's hard to look down. It's a little scary, yes, but oh my gosh, you don't realize how big Paris is until you're up here looking at it all. It's just amazing. Still looking at the soccer field down there. I know, I wonder if that's a school. Oh, I see the Olympic. Symbol there. I wonder if that's where. Yeah, I see that too. They're gonna do stuff. Never even realized how tall a skyscraper Paris had. Probably can't see it from here, but it's crazy. It's such a big city. done with our Eiffel Tower experience but we had to stop at the first floor which is where you can get lunch over there there's this cool little uh, igloo bar <laughs> candy store so definitely make sure you check out all of the floors when you're here because there is just so much to see and each floor is very different from the other oh there's also like a little dessert place over there with and if you really just want to feel adventurous, there is a glass floor right here. It's a little foggy, but you can actually see the bottom. Okay. Oh, uh, this is making me dizzy. I'm not normally somebody who gets afraid of heights, but <laughs> this definitely gets you. Still amazing though. been pretty amazing and we just got some cool pictures because we're like the perfect spot right now aren't we yeah for the most of it it looks pretty good yeah and I don't care how much of a tourist destination is the Eiffel Tower you can't miss it so next I think we're about a 30 minute walk from the Arc de Triomphe so we are going to go there next and get all of our basic pictures there Just made it to the Arc de Troll. It looks so huge, but not as huge as the Eiffel Tower. And I know. If you look that way, you can still see it. <laughs> the trees are 
in the way. You can see the top of, or yeah, the top of the Eiffel Tower from here. Uh, and what we did, which we found really easy, was just to walk from the Eiffel Tower to here. It's just like a 30 minute walk, super easy, and a ton of scenery that you get to see. So definitely do that if you're trying to knock both out in one day. But look how crazy this is. You can actually go up to the top, just like you can the Eiffel Tower, and take pictures and see the views. Some people say that the views are better here on the Arc de Triomphe, which I'm not really sure if they are, but I can bet that they're pretty amazing. I love the windmill behind us. I love it too, and it's so colorful. It's nighttime right now, and it just looks so pretty. Uh, so yeah, we don't really know what to expect with the show. We just know it's a big tourist thing. We have seen the movie, and we're not huge fans of it. But we're gonna see how the actual show itself is. Um, we can't record inside, but we'll let you know how it is afterward. Good morning. We just woke up after seeing the Moulin Rouge last night. We were so tired that we forgot to kind of give our recap about it afterwards. But how did you like the show? I thought it was very entertaining and we had a lot of champagne. I think I had a little too much last <laughs> night. They had a pretty good deal going for like an entire bottle of champagne and we struggled to finish it, but it was fantastic champagne and went great with the show. Um, but yeah, the show was about two hours. We really weren't sure what to expect at first. I knew it was like singing and dancing and stuff. Um, and it was kind of very random. Like there's not one storyline. There's just all kinds of things going on. It was just different settings of the, the show. Yeah, like different themes. And there were uh, stunt people out there. Uh, which we won't spoil, but it was crazy. There were so many moments where we were like, oh my gosh, like, is this really happening? And yeah, it, it's a fantastic show. And if you come to Paris, you have to see the Moulin Rouge. And it's way better than the movie. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's very different from the movie, which don't come for us if you like that movie. We were just not fans of it. But um, they do play some of the music from the movie, which I like. That was a good part of the movie that I liked. Yeah, but very great show. Uh, today, we've got a couple more big things on our list. First is the Louvre, which we are about to walk to now, just a 30 minute walk from our hotel. Um, and then hopefully see the Notre Dame too. Yes, the Notre Dame, Notre Dame, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, is not too far. But we're definitely planning on spending at least a few hours in the Louvre because I've heard it's huge. Uh, there's just so much to see and we definitely want to take our time in there and I'm not sure if I can record in there But we'll see. Do we take pictures? Yes, we can take pictures okay. and we're especially excited to see the Mona Lisa. So Let's go. All right <laughs> to the Louvre. I've always seen pictures, but I really never knew how huge it was until we were actually here. I only ever imagined this triangle thing, which I believe is just the entrance. You can see over there a crazy long line already forming. I'm not sure if these are people who have tickets or people who are trying to get tickets. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. But this... Oh my gosh, just everything around here is beautiful. We're now inside the Louvre. It's crowded. It's huge. And we waited in line for so long, even with the reservation, but it's going to be worth it. So we're going to attempt to find the Mona Lisa because I already know it's going to be crazy and we just want to get it out of the way and see it. So, wish us luck with finding it.
This looks like a ham sandwich pizza. It does. I'm like glad they toasted it for fancy. us. Fancy, I know. So we're at this fancy Starbucks. As you can see, it looks like we're in a museum right now. We both got these fancy little cheese toasties. And frappuccino, but they kind of seem to be like a fancy milkshake, so that's cute. It's very fancy. Even I look fancy. You do, except with the backwards hat. Whatever. Well, what a week it's been. We have done so much stuff here in Paris. It's both of our first times, and I feel like we have pretty much checked every box off of our list. I mean, we had all these plans, and we did it all. And we both feel very accomplished, and we both love Paris. Uh, I know people can have different opinions about the city, but for us, I mean, we met some of the nicest people, had some delicious food, and love just how accessible the city is and how easy it is to see what you want to see. So we had a really fun time here. The Starbucks that we just went to was super fancy. I actually saw it on Instagram. And it's funny because when you go on the outside, it just looks like a small, regular Starbucks. But as soon as you go inside, it looks like a museum. And it was really nice, too. We got um, ham and cheese toasties and frappuccinos, and they, like, served it to us on an actual plate and, like, glass cups and everything. And it was more than just your normal Starbucks. Uh, so, yeah, that was amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Until then, I will see you back in the States or on the next adventure. Bye, guys!